Ladies and Gooners, welcome to the Rainbow Six Siege crossover skin tier list. Now, there's 24 crossover skins, including the two WrestleMania skins that got like taken out of the game. But I'm still going to cover them anyways, because you can still play them in the game if you own them, but you can't even buy them anymore. But as of year 9 season 1, there's 24 crossover skins, and most of them being attackers, we're just going to cover all of them and rank them. Now it's not going to be a normal tier list, instead of like, you know, S, A, B, C, D, it's going to be the Rainbow Six Siege ranks, like Diamond, Plat, Gold, Silver, Copper. So we're going to be ranking it like that, and to start us off, we're going Sledge. Okay, Sledge actually has two crossover skins, so the first one is the Master Chief Halo skin. Which, it's it's cool. I mean, it's it's actually pretty cool. I like the hammer and the guns. I think it's it's a solid skin. The animation is pretty cool, and for that, I'm gonna have to throw this in plat. It's not quite diamond, but it's close, and it's just gonna be plat. Next we have the Siege Gromflamite Rick and Morty bundle. And I think this one's actually pretty cool. I actually kind of like it. I had no clue this skin was even in the game because Ubisoft will just release like a crossover skin and then tell no one about it. Like I, I half the skins that are even in the game I knew nothing about. But to be honest, I, I really like the skin. I think it's kind of cool. I really like the Rick and Morty fake gun shoot me and standoff skin for the shotgun. I think it's cool. I like the visor, I like everything about it. I'm actually throw some in diamond. I really like this skin a lot. I think it's kind of fun, it's cool. It's not too expensive, I think, but uh, it's it's a cool skin. I'm about to throw it in diamond. All right, next we have the Ash Tomb Raider skin. Now this one, that, damn, okay. Now this this one's pretty cool, this one's pretty solid. Uh, If you're a sweat at Ash, you have this skin. Like, if you see the skin on your team, you're gonna get carried hardcore. I think it's kind of cool. The Ely animation's just alright, I think. Okay, that ass though. Hold on. I'm bricked. I'm bricked up. Hold on. Plat. Next, we have the Thermite Crobopulus Michael bundle from Rick and Morty. Now, I, I had no clue this, this skin was actually in, Rick, uh, in Siege. So I actually got I got killed. I got killed by this skin and I started tweaking. Cause I, I had no clue that Crobopulous Michael was in Rick and Morty. So I I got killed and genuinely started tweaking. Um but I think this is actually a really cool skin. Most of the Rick and Morty skins are just like the operators wearing a mask or wearing a onesie as we'll later see in the video but this one's actually kind of dope because it's it's him it's Cobopulous michael and the pistol skin is actually this is actually dope this is super cool actually this is a dope skin uh i think it's fun i think it's a cool skin cool bundle i'm gonna throw it in diamond all right with more rick and morty we have the fuse morty bundle and i think it's cool like it's it's just fuse wearing a mask like just wearing the Morty outfit. I think it's cool, but to be honest, I Fuse doesn't strike me as a Morty. I don't know what opera they should have done, but I feel like Fuse being Morty was was kind of weird. It, he's just wearing a mask. It's not that cool. I mean, if I got killed by Morty, I'd start tweaking, but like, I think it's just all right. I'm about to throw this in gold. It's, it's just Fuse wearing a mask. It's not that cool. Okay, now we have the Habana Yakuza skin. Now it's it's cool. I, I don't really play a whole lot of Yakuza, but I think it's a clean skin. Uh, it's dope. If you like Yakuza, you'll probably like the skin. It it looks clean, I guess. She looks, looks kind of bad to be honest. Uh, the weapon skin is just all right. It's not. It just looks like a normal skin. Doesn't stand out too much. But honestly, this is a dope skin. I'm gonna have to throw it in high high gold. This is going to high gold. It's cool. It's something special, but I think it's fun. All right, now we have the Ying Chun Li bundle, and let me just say, let me just say, they they hit it. They tried to hide it. They tried to hide the Giat, and I'm not I'm not for that. It's a cool skin. The weapon skin's pretty cool. I I like it. It's pretty dope. 
and I think the Chen Li Ying skin. It's cool. It's I'm gonna put it in gold. It's fun. I mean, it's nowhere near the Fortnite Chun Li skin. All right, this is the Zofia Resident Evil skin. I'm pretty sure. And uh, this is actually lead skin, so it comes with a Lee animation. No way, bro! Bro just popped a med mist. Bro just popped a Fortnite med mist mid animation. This is dope skin. I like it. The the weapon skins, it's cool. It looks kind of like a standard weapon skin for elite people, you know, just elite operator weapon skin. It's cool. Um, I'm gonna throw in plat. I think it's a nice skin. It's cool. Hard plat. This is the Leon S Kennedy Lion skin for Resident Evil, and I think it's a dope skin. I really like it. The weapon skin's just all right. It's not terribly anything crazy. But the elite animation is pretty cool. Never mind, that wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. Uh, it's it's a cool skin though. I actually really like this skin a lot. If you if you played Resident Evil, I guess you'll like it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm actually gonna throw some diamond. It's it's a, it's a dope skin. All right, this is the Finca. Dead by Daylight Huntress bundle, and I'm pretty sure this one just got recently like released, so I think it's I think it's kind of cool. I mean the the dogs are out. Uh, if you like Dead by Daylight, which no one does, I guess you'll like this. The, the weapon skin is kind of cool though. The weapon skin is kind of cool, and overall I think the Huntress skin is it's kind of cool. I I think it's I think it's gold. The the ears do stick out a lot, so that's that's kind of lame. You can like see someone's ears like really far away, but I think it's a cool skin. Uh, I'm about to put it gold. It's a cool skin. All right, this is the near replicant bundle for Maverick. Um, it's cool. I think it's cool. I'm not not a huge fan. The weapon skins, the weapon skins are dope though. I actually do like the weapon skins a lot. It's it's neat. It's nothing crazy. I've I've actually never seen anyone have this skin in the game. I didn't know the skin was in the game. Until I made this video, but like I've I've never seen anyone run this skin before. It's it's neat. I think the weapon skins are cool, but like I don't know, gold. All right, next we have the Ayana 2B skin, and let me just say, if I this if I see this skin on the enemy team, I'm not gonna be fighting Op 4. I'm gonna be fighting the boner in my pants because this skin, this skin wild. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not. I'm not down bad or anything. I'm not down bad or anything. But like, diamond, hard diamond. All right. Now we have another Rick and Morty bundle with it being Ace's Mr. Meeseek skin, and this one's not as cool because it's just Ace wearing a Mr. Meeseek's onesie, which is kind of lame because I'd, I'd really hope he was actually Mr. Meeseek's like Robopulous Michael was, but he's he's just wearing a onesie. But the weapon skin is dope. I actually really like this weapon skin. It looks a lot like something from CSGO, which is kind of cool. I actually like this skin, kind of. The Mr. Me6 box charm is dope, though. But honestly, bro, low plat. Low plat, high gold, can't decide. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section if you guys like this skin, because this one, it's neat, I think. It's it's all right. I wish it was like actually Mr. Me6, but it's it's something. Now, I had no clue that Flores had an Assassin's Creed skin, because I've never seen anyone even play Flores in the first place, let alone the Assassin's Creed skin, but it's cool. I mean, it's it's alright. I've never seen anyone ever play the skin. I, I had no clue this was in the game, but I think it's a cool skin. The weapon skin is kind of cool. I think it's alright. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd say this is cool. This is plat. Uh, if you like Assassin's Creed, I guess you'll like this skin, but I've never seen anyone even play this skin before. Alright, we have the Grim Street Fighter bundle. And honestly, dude, not a huge fan of this skin. I think it's cool, but I really think Grim was not the not the person for this skin. I think they really should have done this skin for Oryx. I think this would have fit Oryx a lot better, 
and I had no clue why they just gave it to Grimm. Like after releasing Grimm not too long ago, that they just gave him a crossover skin. It's it's all right. It's really nothing special. The weapon skin's just all right too. Loki, this is going to copper. First copper, probably only copper. This skin's not that great. Wish it was on Oryx. All right, with that closing out all of the attackers, now we can move on to the defenders, which there's only six. And the first one being Pickle Rick from Rick and Morty. I remember when this first got released and I just looked at my phone like just in disbelief. Like I looked at my phone and was like, there's no way that Pickle Rick is now in Rainbow Six Siege. And honestly, I like it. I think the skin is actually super cool. Never mind. He's actually Pickle Rick and not just he's wearing a onesie again. Like you can actually see like in his legs, this boy is Pickle Rick. Uh cool skin i really like the weapon skin is kind of dope i think it's pretty cool pickle rick charms it's that's something but loki this this is a dope skin i actually like it i'm gonna have to throw it in plaid it's, it's it's a nice skin it's pretty cool all right next we have doc as rick from rick and morty and once again he's just wearing a mask he's just like ignore the skin ignore ignore the headgear but he, he's just wearing a mask, and it's it's not too terribly cool, because I really wish he was, like, Shrimp just Rick. They could have they done it so cool, but he's just wearing a mask. The shotgun for the SGCQB is kind of cool. They actually hit it out of the park with all the Rick and Morty weapon skins, with all of them being actually pretty cool. This, this, one, this one's neat. I like it. Um, I really wish it was just straight up Rick and not just him wearing, like, a headgear. So I'm, I'm up to those in gold. Actually, I'm, I'm throwing this in silver. It's all right. I'm, th I'm throwing this in silver, and I'm also putting Morty in silver, because it's, it's, I don't know, it's just alright, it's not that cool. Alright, next we have the Capcan Dead by Daylight Trapper Bundle. This one's dope. I actually like this. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's, the, the weapon skin's just alright, it's just a bloody weapon skin. I think it's neat. Um, but it's honestly, it's a cool skin. I, re I really like the headgear. I like the outfit it's it's the trap it's the trapper from dead by daylight if you like dead by daylight you'll like the skin if not you'll still probably like the skin it's pretty cool um loki diamond i'm throwing this in diamond actually it's it's dope it's a dope skin i really like it going in diamond all right this one actually just got released not too long ago it's the frost halo bundle and it's kind of cool i mean that forehead is pretty crazy dude like loki that forehead is sticking out by a mile like you're safe behind no cover with that forehead. Um, w W Gat, W Gat. Um, it's, it's cool. The, sh the weapon skin for the shotgun is not that great. It's looks like it just looks like a normal weapon skin. It's all right. Um, I'm I'm throwing it in gold. It's I think it's cool. It's fun. I'm gonna have to put it in gold. It's not like an elite skin. It's just a normal bundle. So low key going in gold. Okay, so Echo actually has two crossover skins. Uh, two Yakuza crossover skins. The first one we're going to be covering is the Mad Dog one, which is his lead skin. Um, it's neat. I mean, if you like Yakuza, you'll like it. It's, it's cool. I was kind of gay to be honest, but uh, it's cool. I think it's a, it's a fun skin. Uh, if you like Yakuza, you'll like it. I'm putting it in gold. All right, next is the other Yakuza Echo skin. This one's not only a skin; it's just a normal bundle, and a lot like the Habano uh, Yakuza skin. It's just clean. You know, he's wearing a suit. Looks nice. It's a, it's a clean skin. It's fun. The weapon skin is just all right. Uh, Loki going in gold with the other one. It's it's a cool skin. Nothing crazy, nothing special. If you like Yakuza, you'll like it. Say that a thousand times, and yeah, it's it's cool. All right, there are some WWE bundle skins that actually got taken out of the game. I have no clue why, but you know, I'm, I'm just gonna cover them anyways. So up first, we have Ash as Rhea Ripley. I hope I'm saying that right. But Loki, this skin is bad. This skin is bad, dude. Straight up boner all the way, dude. There's there's no saving it, dude. There's no saving it at all, dude. I cannot play this game if i see that skin dude i'm gonna have to take a quick bathroom break because this skin is crazy um diamond it's, it's a dope skin the weapon skin is pretty cool i like the purple on it 
It's a dope skin, I think. Uh, Loki, gonna have to go in diamond for that. All right, next we have the Oryx Roman Reigns skin. The weapon skin is pretty dope. The skin itself is kind of cool. I mean, it just kind of looks like an Oryx wearing a normal t-shirt. It's, it's cool. I like it. Um, nothing special, to be honest. Like, nothing crazy. Just like a normal skin. Gonna, gonna go in gold. The weapon skin is kind of cool, though. But, you know, hardcore, just going in gold. All right, next we have the Thorn Becky Lynch skin. Uh, it's cool. I actually, I had no clue this skin was in the game when I was ranked, when I was doing the research for this. I had no clue this skin was in the game. It's neat. It's cool. I've never seen anyone play this, this skin before. Like, I don't think anyone actually owns this skin. If you do, let me know in the comments. But it's a cool skin. The, the weapon skin's all right. It's something crazy. But overall, it's it's going it's going in silver. It's going at high silver. It's it's nothing crazy. It's like a normal skin. All right. Lastly, we have the Blackbeard Undertaker skin. And let me just say, diamond. This skin is actually dope. Uh, it's it's just the Undertaker. It is just the Undertaker, dude. I don't know if, if you lose and you, get, you just get mogged by the Undertaker. The weapon skin is just purple lightning on his gun, and it's, it's dope. I think it's kind of cool. It's low key. This is actually no, this is a high plat. This is a high plat skin. It's cool. Undertaker W. It's a dope skin. All right, with that being said, I'm pretty sure that's all of the crossover skins, but really, Seed just releases skins and tells nobody. Like, there might be a few that I'm missing. If, I'm, if I do, let me know in the comment section. But I think that's most of them, if not all of them. But yeah, that's that's the tier list I'll put up on screen right now of all the skins. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching the video till the end. Let me know in the comment section if you liked it, if you didn't like it. But I uh, hope you catch another video. See ya.